first tool in the tool palette is the move tool. However, you can't move anything until we select something. So the first one I'm going to use is the rectangle marquee tool. This is a very simplistic tool. All you do is click, drag. When you reach the end, let go. Very simple. With the move tool, you can then move what you just selected. Except what it's going to do is leave a hole behind it. So what I'm going to do is undo that. I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. Notice over here, I've created a new layer. The bottom one is the image as it was. The copy is now just what we selected. Now I can move what was on that secondary layer. And we have essentially two sides. If we come up under Edit, Undo, the change that we made, we can then, I can show you that we hide the lower layer and move that top layer. And I'm moving just that single object. That is the Move tool and the Rectangular Marquee tool. I'm going to remove this layer that we created. And then I'm going to show you the Elliptical Marquee tool. This is the exact same thing as the Rectangular Marquee tool. However, it's going to create an ellipse. I'm going to undo. If I hold down the Shift key when I drag that, that is going to create a perfect circle. Two other tools that I'd like to show you underneath here are going to be the single row marquee tool and the single column marquee tool. Now, mostly you don't need to know about either of these tools, but for the sake of explaining it, back around Photoshop version 7, maybe it was 6 or 7, I, I really don't remember, but basically they had a problem when you saved the files. You didn't notice what happened until you went to open it again the next day or something. But what would happen is you would have a single row of bad pixels that would run across the image. So let's say you're working on it one day and then you save your file and then you go back and you open it up again. When you opened it up you would see like a black row of just completely dead pixels. They had no reason for being there. And if you had a bad day, you would have two rows next to each other. And if you had a really bad day, you would have a couple rows next to each other here and a couple rows next to each other here. So to solve that problem, I think it was around uh, version 8, they came out with the single row marquee tool, which was a lifesaver at the time, where you could click, and it would create one single row of pixels. Yes, literally that's all it is. And so the intent was that you could copy it and paste it to the row right below it. This way it was a lot easier from a cloning standpoint because you couldn't see one pixel when you were printing but you could definitely see a bad cloning job so that's why there is um, that one the single row marquee as well as a single column I don't recall ever seeing a bad single column but in this case I just recently had something where I was doing a web thing and then when you zoomed in right at the very edge of the image over here you saw that there was a single row of black. Well, I, I did just this. I clicked and I copied it and I moved it over and I pasted it and pasted it again. And then that was just enough to hide the white space that was going on when it was displaying on the website. The next tool that we're going to work on is going to be the lasso tool. <laughs>